Uh, right now, at, at this point, your best bet really would be to lock your doors, as we always remind you when they do make their way through surface streets and your windows, because you never know when they're going to come right through your house. And we've seen it just in recent weeks happen uh, where a suspect uh, went through, went book bailed and went through somebody's house and grabbed the keys from, from, their, from the inside the home and took off in their car. So, um, you know, it is possible. It's happened. We've seen it live on TV. So just best to keep your family safe at this point as it's making its way uh, through um, this neighborhood here in the valley. Oh on Sherman Way. And not where you want to see the erratic driving in intersections here, particularly against the red lights uh, and so unpredictable. You know, is he trying to get rid of evidence? Uh, that's always a possibility when they make those quick evasive maneuvers. Uh, not going to fool anybody, certainly not in the air uh, and not on the ground either at this slow speed, uh, which is frankly what you want to see on surface streets again. Uh, the the you know the danger level goes way up w when the speeds increase on surface streets and the erratic nature of the driving escalates. Uh, he's been moving slowly for the most part here. Uh, does not seem to be too agitated. Uh, maybe uh, you know just trying to figure out what his next move is. Uh, the best one obviously would be to pull over and end this. But LAPD now uh, trying to trying to figure out uh, maybe some sort of pattern that he establishes with his driving. And that would then give them an opportunity to lay a spike strip potentially uh, and disable this truck. Uh, but in this neighborhood now, moving uh, fairly slowly, Gil, as, uh, as he seems to be going in circles a bit. Definitely going in uh, somewhat of a circle. I can tell you, Micah, and share that that move that the driver made on that major street going into that turn pocket, it looked like maybe he was trying to avoid a spike strip. There was an officer there on the corner, and it looked like possibly that officer had a spike strip out uh, did not look like it was successful though it looked like he ran over something in the street here he comes back towards us now and uh, it is an, uh, another alleyway but uh, we might see him come back out onto the on the Canoga that which is the major here and uh, we saw him go south on Canoga now he's going to go back northbound on Canoga hitting the gas there coming out and going into the intersection here and uh, no spike strip there and he's really hitting the gas here going northbound uh, are there any freeways uh, coming up his way? Um, what do we have coming up? Uh, not really, Cher. We're pretty far away from both the uh, 101 and the 118 freeway and uh, well well west of the uh, 405 freeway. So he basically has surface streets here to, to contend with in this pursuit, but definitely uh, moving at a faster clip that we've seen him. And again, from our vantage point, we can see just the driver in this pickup truck. And again, not a lot uh, in the way of cargo in the bed of this pickup truck. Uh, and he had been moving slowly for much of this pursuit uh, here in the valley across the surface streets in the Winnetka area. Uh, but, uh, you know, he's picking up speed a little bit here from time to time and then and then wants to slow back down. Uh, and keep it a little more tame, which is better for everyone involved. Again, if you're in the neighborhood here, it's best to stay indoors. You never know what someone like this can do. Uh, oftentimes a lot more desperate than even you realize in the moment uh, uh, as they try here. and flee from law enforcement here. LAPD is sticking behind this suspect again in this pickup truck. Windows down and seemed fairly nonchalant for the last several minutes. Uh, you know, relatively slow speeds, not a lot of erratic driving, and fond of the alleyways. Now down another <laughs> alleyway, Gil. That's for sure. One more time here. We had some traffic there, but really an open lane to get through that intersection at the bottom of your screen. You see the air, LAPD airship overhead lighting it up. Down yet another alleyway, like you said, Micah. And uh, we might see what, what Cher mentioned, a possible uh, pit maneuver during this chase. So there's, there's uh, light traffic out here on the streets at this hour. So we may see that happen here if the uh, officers are pit qualified to do so. But uh, at this point, here he comes in to a... Uh, an intersection there mm. with uh, through the alleyway and almost hitting getting close to that car I should say but again hitting the gas there really hard in the alleyway heading northbound still yeah he does uh, tend to do that we saw some sparks flying from his car uh, before we got on onto this uh, pursuit live here on the air um, so you know we we see that he does like to ex accelerate uh, at some points, but this has mainly been um, fairly calm at about uh, somewhere around like what you're seeing now, these speeds as he's making his way through 
um, the alleyways and surface streets and going around in what looks like a pretty big circle in this neighborhood. Um, we are waiting for him to see, waiting to see if he makes uh, some kind of a move where uh, he foot bails. Um, that's happened before, and that would actually be the the safest thing, I think, for for everybody involved. It sure would. In fact, uh, he's picked up some distance there from the LAPD who had a stop due to traffic coming at him. And here's another red light he's running. This is uh, multiple red lights that this driver has run so far during this chase. You see the. Uh, the LAPD dropping quite a distance back, having to stop in those intersections to make sure they're safe. But uh, still northbound DeSoto approaching community and the vehicle still failing to yield to the officers. And you don't want to agitate a driver at this point. It's been relatively <laughs> slow speeds and now they're starting to increase just a bit and he's showing a propensity for blowing through red lights. Not what you want to see uh, at any speed really, but particularly if he starts to pick up more and more speed here. Uh, and, and you got to wonder if he's looking for help, if he's looking for someone in the neighborhood that he knows, if he's looking for an opportunity to jump out and run, uh, if he's looking for an opportunity to get rid of evidence uh, of a potential crime, all of those things on the table here. But he wants to stay in this particular area and has been for the last several minutes, but now uh, seeming to sort of, you know, trying to get a little distance between LAPD and that pickup truck uh, now moving at 50 miles an hour, 60 miles an hour, uh, had been moving much slower than that. And you see the LAPD again pulling back a bit here, not wanting to agitate this driver. Yeah, we saw the, the speeds uh, pick up a, a bit over there as Coming he was blowing through some of those intersections. Again, this is Canoga Park. So as this uh, pursuit is making its way through your neighborhood, you will hear those Make sirens. Right. You will hear those uh, helicopters overhead. Uh, be sure to to keep your family safe, stay indoors and and just let it be. Let the officers do what they need to do. No need to go outside and be looky loose like we've seen in the past when trying to get this on social media. At this hour, you just don't know what uh, this driver is willing to do. If he's willing to Four run from police, he's willing to do anything to make sure he gets away. Yeah, and authorities continue their pursuit. Again, the LAPD across the San Fernando Valley here. Uh, we're going to sign off the air now and we'll update you on the developments here throughout the night on KTLA.com uh, and the outcome of this pursuit and any breaking news tomorrow morning on the KTLA Morning News beginning at 4 a.m. Good night.